When MSP was founded in 1985, Intel Corporation had just introduced its 8386 chip with feature dimensions that were astoundingly small for the times. One micron. It was readily apparent that sub-micron feature dimensions were just over the horizon. And with that came a host of cleanliness and contamination issues previously unanticipated. Dr. Benjamin Liu, then a professor at the University of Minnesota, had already shown in his research how to verify the efficiency of part per billion particulate filters for the semiconductor industry. And commercial sponsors of Dr. Liu's research soon began to ask for a method of putting submicron particles onto bare silicon wafers for the purpose of calibrating contamination scanners. By 1994, when MSP shipped our first wafer deposition system, the submicron era was firmly entrenched, and the industry faced the dilemma of how to calibrate the scanners typically used for finding contaminants on wafers. Before MSP's entry into the industry, the process for making standards used to calibrate contamination scanners was to atomize micron-sized polystyrene latex spheres, spray the mist into a bell jar, then allow the fine mist to settle naturally onto the wafer. There is a big problem with this method, though. When the particles get really small, they don't settle out. They stay suspended. Enter MSP. Dr. Liu's big idea was to apply an electric charge to the particles and force them to deposit with an electric field. Aerosol scientists had for decades been using particle chargers in their research, and Dr. Liu and MSP used a similar approach to make calibration wafers with precise submicron particles, a first for semiconductor wafers. This development helped propel the industry as it made constant improvements to its chip technology with larger wafers, smaller line widths, and more demanding wafer purity requirements. As the industry advanced, so too did MSP's equipment. We were the first to offer true 20 nanometer deposition capability with the nanoparticle technology NPT1 and MPT2 models, which give customers options for manual or automated wafers. Our highly advanced 2300G3 particle deposition system offers 10 nanometer deposition capabilities, unique in the industry, with an option for automated handling of wafers up to 450 millimeters. We're working toward 5 nanometer to continue down the semiconductor roadmap. But MSP's constant R&D doesn't stop with the equipment. As our deposition systems improved, we realized that cutting-edge equipment could only take the industry so far. The particles themselves had to get better, too. Using commercially available PSO was no longer an option. These particles are basically a plastic material that distorts under the ultraviolet light needed to detect particles smaller than about 20 nanometers. This material was needed to meet the semiconductor industry's future requirements. MSP's solution was to develop nanometer-sized particles of pure glass known as silica. These particles have a high degree of uniformity in size, giving the user unprecedented control over the precision of the particle deposits. Our nanosilica particles are NIST traceable, a critical aspect of any calibration standard, and also very stable. A five-year-old bottle of silica nanoparticles is just as good as a brand new one. Wherever the semiconductor industry has gone for the past 20 plus years, MSP has been out front, enabling its growth and development. We're still out front today, leading the efforts to push the technology and manufacturing capability. We were here yesterday, and we'll be here tomorrow. We're MSP. Microtechnologies, big ideas.